Hi everyone, and welcome back to the Bartor base as we, as usual, continue on. We, ha we haven't finished yet, of course, there is still a lot to do. Uh, so, the main focus I think I wanted to do was space. Uh, we, do have, we do have a bit of fixing over here to do. Um, I haven't quite worked out. Uh, okay, firstly, this needs to... Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I haven't quite worked out exactly how we uh, uh, yeah how we deal with this. We've got to yeah. I want to store the the liquid nuclear waste at the top. So I think uh, yeah, I have this on six because this is going to be priority to build ourselves a a nice insulated route through this extremely cold area. Uh, because it is far too cold over here for dupes to go. I also do want to have a quick look at this, see what's over here. There's probably not much. But anyway, uh, yeah, a bit missing over there. Uh, we've kind of come through here. There's some magma over here. Uh, magma is hot. Surprise. I'm sure you would all be entirely shocked. Some diamond too. Not a lot of diamonds, to be honest. I think on the base map it's usually a lot more than that. Uh, go. Uh, what else? Can I get this window out? I d Maybe um, I've got suppressed notifications, haven't I? There you go. Suppressed notifications. Because so we don't need to know they're buried. I don't. I don't care. Um, that's entirely irrelevant. Also, that this is flooded. Okay. Well, we can dig that up. Okay. Yeah. So let's see if we can get that done. Get this done. We'll come across here. I'm not hearing a digging sound. The, the, the digging gun isn't making any noise. The guns are. None of the guns are making any noise. You guys are hearing that too, right? There's some weird bug. Oh, what's going on here? I didn't turn any of the, op the volume options down, I don't think. That is very weird indeed. Okay, so we'll take that out. Let's prioritise this stuff. Uh, we can't get down there. Okay. There we go. Some glass blowing. Didn't remember we were doing that. Hi, Abdullah. Welcome in. Good to see you. Uh, yeah, so we got materials research. And we have almost researched everything we need. Let's go with that anyway. Uh, thank you for the follow. Uh, good to see people popping in. Yeah, so we'll just use that to tidy this up. Okay. Uh, there's a load of nuclear waste over here too. That's not mopable. Okay, what I'm going to do... If we push this together, we might be able to make it moppable, I think. This is the plan. Let's try doing that. Not hearing any dig guns or build guns. Yes, thanks, Adar. Yeah. Um, is that a problem? I mean, I can try and restart. I'm pretty sure I don't have any... All my... My music's always off. But there's not a... I think that's not something you can turn off. It's it's really weird, actually. Such a small sound. Hmm. We'll see. We may have to uh, give that a go. Yeah, if we push these together... Oh, no, the the water just combines them. I was hoping they'd remain on one tile. and that, Or two tiles. Yeah, I guess we have to delete it. I mean, we can just... We can just delete it. But there's no, there's no point mopping, is there? Actually. Because it just spills out. Yeah, thought about that. And what we can do, where it is, if you just build a tile on top of it, it will delete it because it has nowhere to go. And then deconstruct the tile and problem solved. Uh, and factory must grow larger. Welcome in. Thank you very much for the tier two. The base must grow larger. Yes. Well, maybe. 
the, the, we will grow larger on the map. Uh, I don't know how much we want to make the base actually bigger, but we'll we'll see. We could take some more dupes at some point. Um, but I'm not in a rush to do that. I think you know, 13 dupes is certainly not bad. We will do more than get by on 13 dupes. Uh, can I have a dupe to come and go somewhere for me? MK person, can you come over here? Maybe. Let's try that. See if that uh, uncovers this. Uh, the the map maker did tell me that there may be some small issues with revealing parts of the map that weren't working 100%. So we'll see. There, there's no security door, so we don't have to contend with that. But um, let's see. Usually the answer is put a dupe in the dark bit, and that will solve the problem. So we'll we'll give that a go. There we go. Yeah, put a dupe in the dark bit. That is the uh, that is the solution. Uh, I also want to move them over here. Just to... that's it. Okay, copper. Yeah, more of the same, which you know, kind of expected. Uh, right. Oh, we have a we have a lot of food actually. Ooh, excavation. Excav I was looking for diggers, and I don't think I got one, did I? Or did I? I can't remember, honestly. Anyway, we'll t we will take one more dupe. So, uh, Ben Greenhagen, that's been one of my long-term Patreon supporters. I uh, will be welcomed into the base. Welcome in, Ben. There we go. Uh, yeah, we, I'm pretty sure we have more. But I'm kind of thinking we have a lot of digging to do. You know what I mean? There's a lot of digging to do. So, sure wouldn't hurt. Okay, so these tiles have now been uh, now been done. We can just deconstruct those. Problem solved. Okay, and then this is priority six. So hopefully, I may need to increase the priority on that because uh, yeah, everything seems quite slow. This is priority four. Ghost Rider is the other deer right now. Uh, oh, let's deconstruct the crafting station so we won't need that anymore. And then this is out of iron. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, that kind of makes sense. We'll make some more from our pyrite, which of course we have on this map, and is not a normal ingredient, not a normal material. But there you go. What is this doing? Number 24. Oh, right. I've, I forgot this is so cold because it's actually colder outside than inside. Right. But yeah, this is working nicely for us. And I think, if I remember correctly, doing steel actually gets you pretty much the same power back. Funny enough, so if you take the output from the metal refiner and you're making steel, it makes so much heat that the steam turbine gets you all the power back. Although I think it also depends on the dupe operating skill because so the, the quicker, their, the higher their operating skill, the quicker they actually use it, which means the less power it uses, but it still makes the same amount of heat. So if you have a high enough operating skill, which one was it? Machinery. Um, beyond a certain point, I think it's power positive to make steel, which is funny. I can't remember what that point was, but it's a point. Uh, oh, double check. Schedules, yeah. Okay, we're fine on schedules. Cool. Yeah, so I think next thing is this. This is our main task. Um, we're also going to use this to get rid of the uh, horrible gases down here. Carbon dioxide, chlorine, that gas. We'll just dump it to space because that's how we do it. Um, yeah, you guys do, do let me know if the lack of build guns or gun, gun sounds is putting people off because it's a little bit weird, especially when you look at it, but also it's not. I don't know. I'm not finding it a huge distraction, but uh, let me know if if, uh, if it is for anyone. I'm sure, we can fix that. Okay, we've got to fry out the barbecue. Nice. A lot of meat. Not infinite food storage. Perfect. You like to make your ah uh, make the metal fires five and put a lighter, but that's clever. I like that Sadat. You do also use a, um, a, a normal lamp, or... We, uh, 
the normal lamp uses less power. Any reason you couldn't just put one next to it like this? Does that work there or not? Maybe, maybe that works. Did you motion sensor? Does this have to go on a ceiling or something? No, I can put it on the floor. Does that count? Does that... This is all about tiles of interest now, isn't it? Where is the tile of interest for the... Uh, for the metal refinery? Because if it's... If it's the here, or is it here? Uh, hold on. So, so, for those of you that might also not know what I mean about... Well, cell of interest. Um... The dupe artwork is shown here, so you might think, ah, the dupe is in the middle. But, it could be one of these side ones. Um, so when they're actually doing, using the machine, they are technically on one of these tiles. Um, but, they are, they may look like they're on a different one. At the bottom middle cell. Yeah, so, if I put this here, it wouldn't count, because they're actually on this tile here, this cell here. But I need to put that there. That's fine. Yeah, it was a, it was a fun bit of uh, detailed mechanic for that. Yeah. On the automation port tile, indeed it is. It is in the middle one. Got any wall floor or ceiling? Yeah. Uh, oh, no, hold on. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. That's it. Uh, also, this is going to need powering. Alright, just bump that. Yes, and then that will speed them up, which is a good point. Then they'll use even less power. Uh, no research selected. I mean, do we need the, we don't we do not need any of those things, but okay. Maybe we'll get them. Maybe we won't. Okay. Nice, we got our lamp. We'll be able to use it even quicker. I've just got to get the automation in. Yes, yes, thank you, stop. You realised, you realised that. Did I, did I give you the, um, uh, Sadat, you also have the, uh, the funny Atmo suit. I give you the puffed one. <laughs> I thought it was amusing. We have, we have 12 Atmo suits. Hmm. And 14 tubes, so that's probably not ideal. Just some some basic maths there would tell me that's not ideal. Get rid of that. Yeah, we can power that up like that. Where are we gonna oxygen this from? This one? This one seems to be moving a lot. This one not so much. Hmm. Guess we'll have to do that. Oh, yeah, that up. Yeah, more Atmo suits. <laughs> you, you, you're the one that stands out as well, because we can see you. There you are. <laughs> oh, his buffed suit. There's a funny Atmo suit design on. Okay, where's the lead? Come on. I made out of steel or iron or something. <laughs> Nearby. Uh, oh yeah, and hi you're well, well, let me see, sorry, I saw your comment earlier, I did say hello. Welcome in everyone, welcome in! Oh, having a good Saturday. We're back, we're back on normal time. So yeah, so now if Jupe is in here, I using the machine, that will turn the light on. And then they'll work quicker, and it will also turn the light off when they are not using it. So that saves, that saves me a whole 8 watts of power, but also 500, uh, to use of heat, so you know that's that's the main advantage. Plus athletics, we like that. We like a good bit of athletics. Uh, yes, light comes on. It works. Base. There we go. Uh, and Razor. I mean, thank you for the two years support. Appreciate that. It's just the specimen that's flooding down here. I did. Um, I did dig it, dig it out so I could unflood it. Yeah, we should. I hate warnings up here. But Gotta get rid of them. There we go, look. Lit workspace turns off. Perfect. All good. 
Very nice. Right. So yeah, priority six is this stuff. So we'll be doing that. Uh, I'm kind of tempted just to throw priority nine on it and just like get it done because it's quite a long way away and I feel like I'm not going to do anything until I do that. But we'll see. I might be a bit, a little bit overkill to, to jump straight to that. But there you go. Sometimes we need overkill. Uh, Okay, we'll have those and have those. Oh, we got a layer of water in here. Oh, that kind of sucks. How did that happen? I swear I removed all the water, all the liquid, all the liquid fireballs. I spent so long taking the water out of this. I guess some got in anyway, which is great. So yeah, we're still just kind of tidying up those tanks over there. Unrefrigerated food. Oh, got to deconstruct this box. How did I get there? So how is there a hatch here? Well, uh, the filter on the on the box. There shouldn't be anything here, to be honest. It should all be. Oh god, I have to move this manually. One at a time. Oh, I hate it how it splits. Okay, 135,000 kilocalories, that's the main one. Uh, Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. well, yeah. It's not this one, I don't appreciate sure. This is set to water. So water goes that way and everything else goes this way. So water can't get in here from this side. Anyway, we'll dig it out and we'll we'll sort it. Oh, they can't get over there. Get that done. There we go. Uh, right, is there any more here? Great. Some more barbecue. Some more barbecue. Even more barbecue, all of it at different stages of decomposing. You clicking on here? Nope, every time. Right, let's try and get that moved. Come on, guys. No, oh, yeah, I forgot that ration box was there. Should have got rid of it a little while ago. Uh, mm -hmm, okay. I don't need any tubes right now. May as well save this stuff. We can also use it for rocket food too. Especially the meal ice. Although we cook the meal ice into pickled meal. That makes very good rocket pilot food. Ah, that. No, if I build a sweeper, I mean, that's going to... I'd have to connect it up to here. It's going to take so long to do that. I appreciate the uh, the being lazy idea. <laughs> uh, I can go with that. But yeah, in this case, I would have taken way longer to build something. Also, you know, I can spend my time doing that and let the dupes... I need the dupes to do, do their thing. It was only a couple of items. It was like five to ten different chunks, so... Not a lot. Not a lot. Ugh. <sighs> right. Let's cut this here and here. Okay, up here. It's pretty cold. Yeah, we'll have to insulate it like that anyway. <laughs> yeah, I'm always, always for automating stuff, but also kind of have to make sense. Why is this a priority to Is that the sweep command? Sweep command priority two. Is there water for I mean, well, y yes is the answer that there shouldn't be any water falling. Um, because I, you know, I put a, a lid on this to stop any like melt. I also then took all the liquid fireballs out, so I made sure there wasn't any anything there. But oh, on the left side, yes. So on the left side, there's there's a liquid oxygen rain. Uh, 
because it's so cold up here. This is minus 200 degrees almost at the top. So it keeps making liquid oxygen here, then it falls, and then it rains up. So sometimes it goes to the bottom and then it comes back up here. But yeah, this, uh, this is a weird map. It's a very weird map. Yeah. I did open a big pool of it because people wanted that. It was quite funny, so... Uh, yeah, I think what I'm going to do... I'm just going to try and nine this stuff and see what we get. We can get, get all of our best people on this one. Okay, nice. So we've oxygenated this one. Well, loot oxygen is disappearing. So that's good. So they will slowly breathe it in, and then should be good on that. Let's see, is that okay or zero K? Okay? It's not zero K okay up here. It's um, it's about seventy K. You know, it's pretty pretty warm. Okay, tubes are now coming. Okay, it will need it will need quite a few dupes here to uh, to build all this. So. This is, this is not a bad shout to get this done quickly, I mean, we'll see. I don't want to distract them too much from other stuff. I mean, Priority 9 does work, you know, for all the for all the joking around. And if you Priority 9 everything, it doesn't work. But, if you if you Priority 9 correctly, you can you can get stuff done efficiently. You know? This is, uh, this is good proof. That, I think that's, uh, that's a great thumbnail there, maybe. We'll, we'll grab a quick picture of that. Well, let's go that way. There we go. Uh, maybe that's the thumbnail. I don't know. If you clicked on this on YouTube, you'll know. I don't know at this point. We'll see. But, yeah, they've already built... It took them like five cycles to build a third of it, and now they've built the other third in about half a cycle. So, let's see. Right, grab some blueprints. What have we got this week? Anything good? Fingers crossed. Come on, no more shoes. Oh, okay. Some checkers. I mean, yes, that's uh, that is a thing. Not a thing we really wanted, but anyway, it is a thing. Uh, yeah, what I'll do then is we'll run this insulated line up here to here. Exactly, busy tubes doing hard work. But it just goes so much quicker when there's so many of them. All focused. Ah, nice, nice. Yeah, it's, it's, I mean, it's great, you know, it's great if you've got an idea for it, but you just random stuff. Plus, I have so many of these anyway. So many. Uh, and I also generally lack the creativity to what <laughs> I am, I'm not very good with art stuff. As those of you who watched the, uh, the Luxury Hotel run, and my attempt of making a circle out of squares did, did not go well. Um, yes, especially the wallpaper on that. Two tiles of magma checkers on the border on the bottom with plain white above. Hmm. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Like um, like a fifties American diner type idea. Yeah, mm, that's cool. And I can get behind that. Very nice. We like a bit of creativity. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. So I mean, within a cycle, we've pretty much got that built, which is great. So. If we'll just come back this next cycle and finish that off and then we can just build the pipe. That'll take uh, that highest lug of cats. What is a bar tour? A bar tour is a mod map and is available in the workshop and is meant to replicate the nine hells. So it is the, the map we are playing, which is why this is my bar tour base. Uh, and yeah, it was a pretty tricky start, but I probably made that more tricky myself. And uh, you should definitely give it a check out if you want a if you want a more tricky, a more interesting map. If you've played a lot of normal maps; it's uh, definitely a new challenge. Uh, if you're a bit, if you're more beginner player, you're still learning the game. I wouldn't recommend it. It's pretty tricky, but it's still good fun. Uh, and hi, Walk Cannon. Welcome to you as well. Happy weekend. Okay, here we go. Right, I think we should be able to get this done uh, this cycle. For sure, I'm confident. It's a lot to do. It is getting further away, which is not good. We'll see. 
So all the suits are out. Let's read fiber. Okay, we still we got a load of read fiber. I tell you what, I mean one uh even just having one Draco Raj, I'm not even shearing the extras because I haven't bothered to set it up. That is still making a big difference. So I don't know how we've got so little hydrogen in here. Hmm. I swear we had more hydrogen before. Weird. Ideally I'd want hydrogen down here. Uh, but it's quite tricky to get exact. Uh, spent some more time on your own only playthrough. Awesome. How... Uh, but, uh, what are you up to? Did you post some stuff in the chat? In the Discord, I mean, or not? Um, I think so. Nice, I missed it. Uh, but yeah, also, to mention on Discord, because I don't often mention it for you guys on YouTube, but if you guys on YouTube want to come and say hello in the Discord, come chat with us there. Um, the link is in the description, so just click on the click on the more and uh, have a look at the description, and you will see the um, the Discord link there. And we've got, we've got so many people on there now, which is awesome. I see so many of you come across. So, uh, the more, the merrier, though. And we want as many people as possible. And there's a lot of cool only stuff over there. So. Do -do -do. Oh. Go. Thank you, Razor. They and for you guys in Twitch, you got that link over there as well. Always, uh, always like to hear what you guys are up to. If you're using any of my designs, I always find that uh, interesting to to hear. Okay. Hmm. Funny enough, it's, it's too warm down here and too cold up here, so we've got another oxygen rain situation where it's constantly just in raindrops. Very funny. Well, you gotta you gotta share war canning. You gotta let us know how it's going. I'm sure we'll all be interested to see what you've been up to. Something fancy, I hope. Something fun. Mm -hmm. Okay, a lot of meat down here. Just from Chris's dying, hopefully. Yeah, stick it, stick it in the barbecue. Put it on the barbie. All right. Yeah. So anyway, we did manage to get that done. So. No, it's just the just the gas pipe we've got left, and then our uh, I can get rid of this carbon dioxide. I can get rid of the carbon dioxide skimmer. We won't need that anymore. And off we go. We can also get rid of this horrible chlorine and natural gas, which the carbon skimmer can't delete. Um, and we'll just chuck it to space. I mean, this isn't really worth anything. I have no particular use for this stuff. Uh, I don't think we're going to be building a load of six ranches or a petroleum boiler this time. Uh, that's not on the cards. Although, we, do we need some kind of power? Maybe. Petroleum would be nice. We need some kind of um, meteor blaster set up, I think. I would like to do that. It's generally my preferred way of dealing with meteors these days, I think. Because the annoying thing is, they kind of... Uh, kind of ruined the both of the meteor setups with these these slime ones and the, these ones that make solid tiles the the door crusher doesn't work and the i think with the robo miner still does work but you have to be very careful with the design so yeah we'll see i don't i don't want dupes right now so go with no soda fountain uh not this time no 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 uh if you want to see that check out the luxury hotel run i think we, we did manage to get them one couple in the end didn't even use it when i gave it to them so you know annoying dupes but, uh, yeah, uh, and also, I did get quite a few comments uh, on YouTube about how straight this thing is. Um, I did want to point out that this base is not symmetrical. This room is 16, this one is 24, 24, and this is 4. So, let's see, here, like here to here is 25, and here to here is... Oh, it is symmetrical. Okay, somehow I made it accidentally symmetrical. Whoops. Um, but yeah, what happened here is somehow I managed to get this to be three. These should all be two. So I've clearly made a mistake there, but I kind of can't be bothered to fix it um, at this point because I've already built it. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, wait, oh no. Oh, sorry. There you go. I can fix it. There we are. I, I, I got that right. We'll just do that and that. There we are. Fixed. Maybe I got that wrong last time. Anyway.
And the robo mines can't go through the, the, the uranium ore either. I, yeah. Yeah, so the problem is the old the old meteor deals don't work and there's no it seems to me there's no good way to deal with the meteors anymore. Except for just blasting them. So I don't know if you guys do you guys have any more experience on that? Because actually I haven't done a proper meteor setup for quite a while. Uh, not since they introduced these new meteor types. So do you guys actually have a good meteor design? Or do you just blast it? Or you just live with the fact that, that that's what it is? It also depends on the planetoid, right? Because this one's got... Oh my god, okay. This one's got all of the meteor showers somehow. I mean, that kind of makes sense. I wonder if that's because I turned up the settings to, to max or if this is just the Bartor generation. Probably just the Bartor generation, I suspect. But um, yeah, the sli it's the ice slimy and the uranium ones which are a problem, right? Because they leave the uh, I think the ice might be okay, but the, the other two leave solid tiles. Uh, can you use the sorry factory mascara to transfer heat up the chute? I mean, yeah, that is very little, very little. I'd rather just try and get it up there. Uh, hi, Roxab. You funny. You didn't. You didn't decatch me on Twitch. Welcome in. You have a few view vods. I mean, this run is not too far in, so you're lucky because. I do feel for those poor people that used to join me in episode 70 or 80 or on most years run they used to join like episode 100 and 150 and it's like oh I haven't seen all of these and you're like, oh. uh, well, there's a lot to watch here we're only on episode 13 right now so it's not too bad lucky number 13 hopefully um so yeah but welcome in I'm glad you made it uh you use robo minus for slime oxalite and automate using sweepers, yeah. Okay, but so so yeah, I I can I can see that. So I think because the the crusher system no longer works with either of those sol with any solid ones. So that's um, what's that slime? Uh, hold on. An oxalite, yeah. So slime and oxalite you can get away with. It. Um, rover miners, but then for the uranium ones you can't get away with anything. Right. Does anyone have a good uranium meteor shower system? Question. Uh, the ice ones you can melt. Yeah. Well, doesn't it take the ice ones as well? I think the Robo Miner would deal with that. There you go. Episode 54. Wow. Okay. Well, thank you very much for watching along. I mean, I do appreciate you guys that, that are the, the hardcore fans. You guys are, are watching along all the way. Uh, and there's lots, there's hundreds and hundreds of hours of me. So. I super appreciate you guys that keep tuning in over and over. Um, I mean, I, I never thought people would watch so much of me. I, <laughs> and I'm, I'm always grateful for uh, for that to be able to hang out with you guys. Where I've noticed it's definitely quieter today than Tuesday. It's just super weird. Maybe I should stream on a Tuesday. I don't know. You guys all said no, nah, Tuesday's a bad day, and when I stream on Tuesday, I get twice as many viewers. So I don't know what <laughs> what's going on. Hmm. People are busy having fun weekends, probably. Uh, you've yet to use a blast shooter, but you can't. No, I don't think you can war cannon, no, but you still get... It's a, is it a quarter? I think it's a quarter. Oh, you're not really playing. Well, that's fair enough. I mean, you know, I can always tempt people back. I have uh, a lot of people have left comments saying uh, I can't start playing again because I saw some of your videos. So that's great to hear as well. Um, we do need, we need another Great Hall, because, uh, this one's not cutting it. Uh, get rid of that, get rid of that. There you go, pop that in. Uh, cause I just realised we got 13 seats and 14 dupes, so that's no, that's no good. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, we'll see. We'll keep it on it. Yeah, uh, you can store crush for the ice ones. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the, the crushed ice and snow does fall. Uh, and hi, uh... Tuan Taka, 80. Welcome in. Yoti as well. It's... I mean, yeah, the, the DLC definitely adds a load of stuff, so... It's worth a go. I mean, 280 hours is... You've got... You've got room to play. You've got room to play with that. Yeah. Ugh, see, I put this priority to 6 and nothing happens. Go nine and it'll get done immediately. 
Yeah, you got. There's plenty of hours left. Two hundred and eighty. I'm. What am I on now? I, I lose track. As of time of recording, on just over eighteen hundred. So, uh, yeah. Do it. Does that not? Tua. Tua Antakur. Oh. Did I not get that right? You and hmm. you have to help me out with the pronunciation. I do try with you guys, but you come up with some some whole variety of names. Two 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 and taka. Two two and taka. Two and hmm. Yeah, okay, see, Razor has, has got double my hours, so, yeah. Twin, twin attack, okay. Maybe. See, the, the problem, the problem is, right, so there's a difference between British and American pronunciation on the, on the U. So, in America, you guys go with a, a hard U, like, uh, like stupid. And in the UK, we had a... A U or like a Y sound in there. Stupid. So like, that's why so if you've got uh, T U A N, an American might read that as Twan. Or well, I'm not sure quite how you get Twin, but Twan. Um, whereas uh, the British I go Chuan. <laughs> that's that's why it comes out to me. So uh, you have to forgive the forgive the British, because uh, that's that's how we how we say use. We're going to go with an ooh. Um, yeah, so the objective for this one is going to be... Ah, uh, it's Greek. Okay. I, I do not speak any Greek. But <laughs> there you go. Uh, yeah, so the, the, the goal for this one is going to be get all the main achievements, so the main three. So that's going to be uh, Cosmic Archaeology, it's going to be Home Sweet Home, and it's going to be... I always forget the Temple of Rotea one every time. Uh, Great Escape, there we go, before we get all the achievements. Great Escape, so the goal is to get those three, and then, uh, then we'll go from there, I think. We'll see, I, I was thinking, do, I was just thinking before we started stream, do I want to keep playing a bit beyond just getting those achievements? It kind of depends on when we get those achievements, that's going to be an important thing. Um, it's even reachable now. Uh, and also what kind of what there is on the map. Obviously this is an interesting map. There's loads of weird and funky materials and things. So we're going to see, but I'm not sure there's a lot we can actually do with them. It's kind of a problem. So, you know, if we discover there's something cool and funky we can do. Hey Ben, do you want to like go back here? Yeah, that's good. Okay, right, two more to go, and then it's like, it is like data and data. Oh, but then Americans are also data, right? So you'd have data, data, and data. There's three there. Oh, the, the Australians love a bit of data. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, funky pronunciations. And then there's probably like a billion different uh, British accents for saying data. <laughs> uh, we'll hold off on the Scottish and Welsh attempts on that. Okay, right. Yeah, so so we're almost there with this, finally. I feel like this is taking far too long, but I feel like everything takes too long these days. I don't know. Just I'm getting impatient. I'm very impatient. Oh, no. We'll have some, we'll have some grub fruit preserve. I mean, why not? Why not? Uh, valid construction location. Yeah, okay, alright. It'll become valid, hold your horses. Okay, here we go. MK person, we got enough. We have some. Oh, here, Danathor, welcome in. And. Bosh, okay, hopefully. Nice. Now we'll get our uh, gunk pipe with all of this horrible gas. 
start to get this thinned out. We can get rid of the carbon skimmer. Oh, we can get rid of that now. Why not? Uh, now I've got to work out what we're doing next. What are we doing next? Good question. Um, well, we need to go to space too, so... See, we are still uh, working on this ladder, which is good. And we'll go all the way to the top, I suppose. Let's see what's up here. Let's see a shovel. There's a shovel up here. Okay, nice. All right. Got shoves too. Could ranch them if we wanted. Uh, Stella thought to. <laughs> Another one. It is down a thought too. What a, what a coincidence. I also know a down a thought. Uh, yeah, so I think... Uh, is the stream janky? It looks okay on mine. Anyone else struggling? I, I, I definitely had a couple of internet issues right at the start, but... Ooh, it looks okay for now. My end. Guys do let me know. I have had stream issues in the past. Oh, it's freezing the whole time. Oh, that sucks. Sorry about that. You guys didn't mention it. Oof. It's speeding up now. Now you guys have mentioned it. The uh, the the send rate is just better and high. Hmm. Most of my streams, or just my stream, <laughs> or or are there routers too? Uh sorry about that, guys. I don't know if that's on my end. My my send speed looks okay here, from what I can see. Nice strike. Right. Here comes the carbon dioxide. Uh. It is just dipping a bit low here then. The bitrate is also red on my screen, which is not good. A few stutters, but mostly okay. Okay. Is, is, is streaming okay to me? Because obviously I'm, I've got my screen stream on the second screen. Oh my god, that's a bit of a mouthful. Yeah, I've got a second screen with the with it showing what you guys should be seeing and that's being okay for me which is usually a good sign because that means both my upload and download speed are okay so i don't know yeah do let me know if it uh if it gets worse maybe just a quick refresh might might do the trick i don't know okay yeah so plan is to go up and down up and down up and down uh, and what else do we need to do? I don't know, how much steel we got? We got 11 tons of steel, we've got so much steel. Um, could make a ton of ceramic. I mean, we, if we're going to need to build the uh, the Great Monument, we're going to need to do that anyway. We've got a load of plastic, although... How much plastic? I'm not sure. What is the monument? What's the deal with that? I haven't even researched it, so... Researching the monument would help. Have I not got it? Oh, it's over here. Ooh, okay. All right, that's going to take space science. Space science, that's the one. Hmm. Uh, I appear to... Currently in a 45 second delay. It's Yeah, the delay is much better on my screen. It's actually okay, so maybe a quick refresh would, would go for it. Um, it's a simple way to kill germs inside water if you don't have the expansion. Uh, heat it is usually a good way, or cool it, or you can also put it in a chlorine room, but I tend to avoid that. I mean, my, my general advice for germs is don't bother getting them. Um, it's usually not worth it. Unless, because you, if you don't use the water for, um, for like food stuff, which usually, you know, if you're using it for oxygen, then I usually wouldn't even bother, to be honest. Uh, I also do have a tutorial bite on that particularly. Hold on, I, I can get a link, although I have to dig this up now. Uh, Dana. Or. Oh, right. Or Dana. Or Dana. Da Dana, Dana, Dana. I just. Uh, I, I went with Dana Thor. Dana Thor is the one from Lord of the Rings, right? I don't know if that's where you pulled the name. Am I getting that confused? Danathor is the uh, the steward of Gondor, right? Uh, yes, you, you can cure with medicine as well, but but the thing is... Um, uh, Alright, thanks, Aldorf. The thing is, Pululu, the, um, the if you've got food poisoning germs on your water, which I do, I've got uh, food poisoning here, unless they eat something that's been made with the water, 
So uh, if, if you feed this to bog buckets or if you put it through a water sieve, which doesn't kill the germs, uh, and then you use normal water to make, I don't know, to make uh, bristle blossoms or, uh, or tofu or something, you know, if you use it in food, then you'll have a problem. If you just um, put it into an electrolyzer and use it for oxygen, it won't make any difference. So it's only if you're using it for food that food poisoning is a problem. So you don't really need to deal with it, because usually you don't want to do that. Um, let me... This is this is an old one. This is an old tutorial bite. So quality is not great on it, but uh, that's the one you're after. That is the cleaning germs tutorial bite. Who's making a mess? Why are you making a mess? Seems entirely unnecessary. Uh, right, we'll put water... Polluted water here, sweep only. High priority. And we'll put normal water on this. Is it possible? It's definitely possible to make infinite waters. You need things like geysers. So cool steam vents like this, or there's a salt water geyser here. These make infinite water. So if, if you've got those tamed, then you have infinite water sources. You'll never run out of water. You never run out of oxygen. So that's, uh, that's all good stuff. Yeah. Okay, right. So we managed to get through the horrible carbon dioxide. The natural gas, for some reason, is taking a while to fall. I guess that might be because stuff's coming in here. Hmm. We'll see. Uh... Yeah, you can't get food poisoning from breathing in food poisoning from the air. Exactly. Oh, that's Denethor. Denethor is from... Is that Dofus or Doofus? I'm reading that as Dofus, but I don't know what, I don't know what that is, Denethor. Sorry, I thought that was Denethor. Oh, yeah. They're very similar. Uh, add, yes, quick add. Okay. So yeah, hopefully we just get rid of this natural gas, and then that will make this nice and breathable. Uh, we're going to have to uh, pop some... some more tiles in there just to let the, the air flow. Let's say I think every time this door opens we are letting in a bit of carbon dioxide so we could deal with that as well if we wanted to. I haven't really opened the space up so actually it's kind of interesting I have not strip mined a lot of stuff here. Um, yep yeah. yeah 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 exactly so the, the geysers are in are in the base game, they are in both versions of the game, of course. Ah, so Dart has managed to get stuck down here. There goes Sadat. That champ he is. I wonder if we got some algae down here that turned into dirt or something. Dirt. Hmm, something's flashing into dirt, and I'm guessing it's an organic thing. Uh, online cooling water. Yeah, you can cool it or heat it. Both ways will kill the germs. Yeah, if it's below zero or above 40 degrees Celsius, you will be able to do that. Okay, bit of carbon dioxide here. I mean, I'm, I'm just ploughing straight down. I'm like, we're, we're just going to go down. See what happens. <laughs> you want to explore this map? It's kind of funky. Uh, you can't bring the geysers to your base, but you can bring the water that they make to your base, so... Uh... Dofus is... Because Hispanics don't give it. The username came from both things. So it's a, a French M MMRPG. So it's Dofu? Dofu? That would be a French pronunciation, right? I did learn French. Uh, it's very rusty right now, but I can, I can manage some basic French. Uh, there we go, right. Let's uh, grab our second one. Frilly balm gloves, lovely. Okay, that's, that's not really what I wanted, but we'll take it, I suppose. <laughs> some more recycling later. Uh, yeah, okay. So some vacuum, some magma. There's a whole load of sour gas bombs down here. Mercury. This is glass. I mean, do we need glass? I suppose for the for the um, uh, for the monument we need glass. So 
Yeah, I'm just going to priority six this, because actually we do need to go up. Uh... Yeah, so I would say if you want to bring the, the geyser, the geyser output, um, you, you probably don't want to bring them to your base. Uh, be sure to confirm temps are below 750. Ah, you'll, you'll be fine, you'll be fine. This is, it's 200 in this biome, so that. Uh, and then down here is, is Abyssalite, so we definitely need to work out what's going on down here. I mean, there's magma, so I'm not going to run you in the magma. Uh, there's a lot of gas here. These are big gas bombs. Uh, to be honest, right, my theory is if I opened these gas bombs, I don't think I would actually have an issue. Uh, in fact, I have already opened some by the looks of it. There is some, there's 360 kilos per tile down here. Uh, in fact, steam. So, you know, it's, uh, it's all actually holding together. Uh, use, you use the insulated gas pipes, that's the thing. Make them out of biggest rock, use insulated, you'll be fine. Um, but you, eventually you will need some active cooling, that is, uh, that's the thing. You can't get away without cooling at some point. Okay, I would kind of like to go sideways along here. Um, this, this is open, isn't it? Oh, we can do radium now, so that's... Or corium, even. Oh, this is the edge. Okay, there's no point There's no point doing that, then, if this is the edge, yeah. So more magma over here. We could come along here, I suppose. Yay, up we go, up we go. Uh... The foods from Ankama. And they have. Oh, what? Foo. Yes. <laughs> Alright, you're going to have to give me some help with that, Dinosaur. I have no idea. You are, I think you are far more knowledgeable on that than I, I am. Um, okay. I, I just realised as well we could have done carbon dioxide rockets, but we can't do that now because I've just uh, uh, binned that off. What, uh, what engines. What engines are we going to use? We're going to go with a steam engine or petroleum. Can we go petroleum right off the bat or do we need more research? Let's see. Do we have the... Okay, the small one needs space uh, science. So we can't do that. We can do steam, right? We've got a steam engine. we got a steam engine. Lovely. Um, I mean, it, it, yeah, it might sound... If you want, I, I just recommend checking out the whole tutorial bike series because I think yeah, that would that will answer a lot of questions for you if you just have a have a look through the series. Um, that's why I made them, of course, so you guys can uh, refer to those. What's off? And there will be more coming, which is great because I finished that. Well, finished. I stopped working on that series once I finished everything. Uh, that's all right. I'm uh, happy to answer questions, but if you're asking very detailed uh, ones, it's quite difficult to give a full answer. That's why uh, why we have these the videos. Okay. Ooh, more meteor slime. Oof. Ooh, we might have a bit of a rough time up here. I suspect. <laughs> Yeah, okay, we're okay on the gas bomb, so I'm kind of just like, well, I'll just open them, why not? A vacuum diamond, okay, some some heavier diamond here. No, I mean, that's fine, of course not. I mean, you can't learn everything in a day, but you got to, you got to work your way up through the, through the concepts, that's the thing. I have uh, a lot of experience on this game, so don't worry about it. Uh, yeah, so the oil reservoir is over here. Definitely need to get through to that. This is in a couple of tons of sour gas, so there you go. Uh, but yeah, but welcome to the community. I mean, I'm sure you'll you'll enjoy it. So stick with it a bit. We've got a volcano over here as well. Minor volcano. In a load of magma. Uh, I wonder if we've got more oil reservoirs. That would be a nice to find. The question is, where are we going sideways here? I think ah, there's another one over here. Lovely. We will have that, please. For sure. Is it much switch skills you need at the start? Um, yeah, you usually want a digger and a researcher. They're your main ones. They're the really important ones. 
Um, I like having a builder, but I don't think it's necessary. They're the kind of ones you want to focus on at the start. Uh, okay, I'm going to do this one because I need to start getting this stuff ready. Okay, yes. We're now pulling out quite a bit of oxygen, annoyingly, but... Oh well, I'm sure we can live with that. But this is... Okay, and our, our thing is still being fed from down here. We're using this water up, not this water. Uh, thank you, Credit Pass, and welcome in. Yeah, that's I hope they are. I hope they are. And um, I am also quite excited for the future of Oni, where we've got some DLCs coming. I'm super looking forward to those. Um, radiation sickness, great. One bit of regolith, and then everyone's stuck out here and getting sick. Lovely. Perfect. Ooh, I can also. We can definitely do this. There you are, we can kind of slowly build that. Also, this is meant to be the power line here. This is meant the main line is meant to be down here, but clearly that didn't happen. Uh yes, mole, the mole hands is good. On your digger, yeah. You do want that. Uh, not after you've started. No, you can't reset them. You can You get more as you go along, obviously. So, you don't have to cover everything from the start. The starting tubes don't make that big a difference. I think. Uh, I think newer players tend to overestimate how important the starting dupes are. They're really not that important. Uh, you you could start with completely the wrong dupes and probably wouldn't even have a huge issue. I mean, you, it'd be minor, a minor inconvenience really if you had the wrong wrong dupes to start. It's not the end of the world. Okay, we're gonna we come across here. I guess we can just keep going down here, right? Okay, so we've got one oil, oil reservoir here, and say I do I do want the oil reservoirs because um because I want some petroleum for the meteor blaster and for rockets. So petroleum is still gonna be useful even if we don't go for a boiler, which um. Say, I was thinking of not doing, but there you go. Um, to remove a dweller from your base, I mean, you can, yes, but it requires a bit of murder. There's no, there's no easy way to do that. Um, exactly. We have all the guides for you. Any guides you can, anything you think of. Hundred kilos per tile. These sticks are going to be happy, and a load of sporkies. I mean, I could have done that with that on my luxury hotel, but there you go. Okay, so the, this this hot biome is, seems to be on the left side. Doesn't go all the way through. Because uh, we seem to have something else over here. This is back into the uh, the 45 degrees. I, mean, I don't really care about opening this up. I am not fussed at all. My only thought is, though, that maybe this, we're only going to get two oil reservoirs here. Because uh, that's the entirety of this biome, unless there's more on the right, but we'll see. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I mean, it, if you're if you're learning and you're at the start, I would say normal speed's fine. Um, if you're finding it too slow, then speed up. But yeah, I, as a more experienced player, I definitely go triple speed and uh, and pause. So. Yeah, I think if you're if you're learning and you're definitely in your first couple of days, you probably want to stick on single speed. It's fine, but if you're waiting around for stuff to happen, you can speed it up. Just just watch out for food running out and oxygen running out, that kind of thing, because that, that goes quicker if you're on higher speed, obviously. So you just got to watch out for that. I'm kind of tempted to actually put puncher a hole in the base and just push this carbon dioxide through and then pump it out. I could also just put a pump down here. Starvation. Ghost Rider, why are you starving? It, what? Crazy. Crazy tubes. Ah. Dark, can you just quickly run to the end for me? Nice, okay. So this is the edge of the map. Rock gas, well that's lovely, okay. Uh. Yes. You don't you don't need to be that experienced to play on triple speed. I think you can get up to triple speed quite quickly. 
Um, you don't need that many hours to be able to play on triple speed, because as I say, with, with the pausing, you're probably fine. Okay, hydrogen vent there. More slicks is over here. Hmm. No oil reservoirs on this one. Fine. Am I... Am I... The best player to teach a newbie how to play? Well, I can't answer that without being immodest. Uh, and there, there are... There are lots of really good only content creators out there as well, as well as myself. So, uh, you know, I, I would never claim to be the best, but I, I just hope, I, I think they're good. That's why I make them, <laughs> oh, I try and make them as best as I can. Right, but we have reached the end of the episode, guys, so I'm going to try not to lose track of the time. Um, we've been busy this episode digging up to space. Uh, we've got, we've got all the way up. Nice, right, we found the top of the map too. We've got up there, we've managed to get our insulation in place. Uh, we've dug this out a bit more in the background and also managed to drain the nasty gases all out of our base. So that's lovely, we can mop that up. There we go. Uh, so a load of progress this time. I think on the next episode, we're going to keep exploring down here and get space cracking. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed this one. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.